Okay, aphrodisiac drinks. Um, there are you know, countless experts who will tell you all sorts of different things about aphrodisiacs, things that are, things that aren't, and there will be plenty of other people who agree and disagree. Um, I think it's pretty universally understood that chocolate is an aphrodisiac, and there are lots of drinks you can make if you have a fine chocolate liqueur, such as Godiva. Um, you can make some good martinis with that, or just serve it straight up. Pineapples are supposed to be an aphrodisiac, so I suppose using pineapple juice as a mixer uh, with anything like rum or vodka, um, you know, that might do the trick. And licorice, fennel, um, things like that are also supposed to be an aphrodisiac. So I suppose you could bust out the, uh, the Sambuca or any anisette for that matter. Um, chill it and uh, do shots or something. Uh, there really aren't that many mixers for something like this. And wine, most experts will tell you, is also an aphrodisiac. Um, and wine, relatively cheap, goes great with a nice dinner. And I've also heard that Benedictine, which is a liquor made by, originally made by monks, uh, will act as an aphrodisiac. So you could get some B&B, &B. Benedictine isn't that popular. Um, and who knows why monks would need an aphrodisiac.